Hello guys, this is Al from Open Source Channel. Welcome to a new episode on how to. Don't forget to hit subscribe and the bell icon so you can get notified when I publish new videos. And also don't forget to like and share. By sharing, I'll be able to create more content for you. Now let's get started. All right guys, so today I'm gonna show you how to install Accounting is a free open source accounting software that you can actually host on, you know, in the cloud on your private server if you wanted to. It's very simple to uh, install. So without any delay, let's get started. Let's go to get started. You can have both free in the cloud if you don't have a server, but if you don't, you know, you don't like it, you want to do it yourself. You want to create something more secure. Of course, you can just go and download the script. Add your name, email, and click Download Accounting. You will receive a, an email with the actual link. Or, if you don't want any tips from them, you can just click Download directly. Once you download it, it's a zip file. All you got to do is create your account if you don't already have with your uh, hosting provider but if you already do in this case for example i'm going to use a domain and that is opensourcechannel.uk so i'm going back to the control panel file manager and this is what is at the moment inside the index file I'm going to select, I'm going to click delete, and I make sure it doesn't go straight in the trash, so it gets automatically and permanently deleted. Then I'm going to upload the actual zip file that I received from accountant. Once it's been done, I'm going to click close, highlighter, and I'm going to decompress or extract. Decompress file. Make sure you got 7.2 for your PHP. Otherwise, you might encounter some error 500. So the actual file has been uploaded. I'm going to highlight the zip file again. I'm going to click delete and delete again. So let's go back to the domain and I'm going to refresh. Now, as you can see, we got internal server error. And the reason is that I'm running an old version. And this is what I wanted to actually see. I got the actual selector, and this is what I need to do. So as you can see here, now I installed it. There are some updates available, but I'm going to leave it for now, as this is not the actual tutorial we're doing. And I'm going back to the installation. And as you can see, now it works okay. I'm going to choose the language. In this case, it's going to be English, GB. I'm going to press Next. The host name for the database is going to be localhost. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a username and a database. So let's go back to the panel, MySQL, MySQL Manager. I'm going to create database and the user at the same time. I'm going to call it open the user. The database is going to be account or a double C. And I'm going to add the password. Again, you can generate a strong password. I usually use LastPass to create a very strong password. But, with, you know, for this tutorial, I'm going to keep it simple. But make sure you got a strong password. Now I'm going to click on Create Database. And as you can see, the database is being, I know, has been created. Let's go back to the accounting installation page. I'm going to paste first the password because this is something already copied in my 
clipboard. Now I'm going to copy the username. Database and username in this case is exactly the same. So I'm going to paste here and I'm going to also paste the database. Once that's been done, I'm going to click on next. Depends on your web, you know, web server. It might take some time. Okay, so be patient. All right, now we are on step three. Let's call the company. No, let's give a name to this company. I'm going to call it OSC. Then a company email. In this case, it's going to be opensourcechannel.uk. Add domain email. Again, you can use the same or a different one. Bear in mind, this one is to log in. Now, what we're going to do is press next. Never, not now. And there we go. The actual installation has been completed. Now let's go and log in. You can create a API key to download add-ons. Some add-ons are free. All you got to do is log in here and you will get the API key. I'm going to show you how it does. Now, as you can see, here is my API key. Logically, I have blurred my API, but this is where you actually find your API. And all you got to do is copy and you're going to go and paste it. Tax number. Financial here, United Kingdom will be April 5th. Address. And here you can actually add your logo. I'm going to say save now. Now we're going to use the currencies. You can leave all of it. Or you can actually disable if you wanted to. It tells here that the US dollar has been already been used. And the reason why is comes with some simple or sample data. I'm going to leave just those two here. I mean, I could leave with euros if I wanted to, but again. And of course, you can add more. I'm going to press next. We are talking about here taxes. Now, if you are registered with the VAT, like for example, in the United Kingdom, let's call it VAT. And here is about 20% enabled again if you are a very small company you might not be registered with the VAT I'm gonna save it once the tax has been added I'm gonna press next and as you can see here we got some add-ons as I said some are paid and some are free the installation has been completed. I'm going to go and press go to the dashboard. Here we got the actual dashboard. And from here, you can actually start our items, sales, purchases, banking, reports. And of course, you can go to settings. You might want to go to, for example, localization and change some of the details if you wanted to time zone just in case my was already set by the server you want to go back to currencies and again over here you can still add more you can have a live con uh, currencies and of course you can enable and disable I mean, again I got one account that is already been registered with the actual dollars. That comes as a standard. Now let's go back and let's go to the settings. I'm going to, go to default and I'm going to change the currencies from dollars as you can see here to British pounds. This is my main currency. I'm going to go and save it. Unfortunately, when you do it, it comes automatically as dollars. 
Now let's go back to currencies and see if it allows me to remove or disable dollars. And it says it's still one account related. So let's go back to settings and I'm going to do a little bit of all, you know, everything. So I know more or less where to find this dollar, the last part of the dollars. So here looks okay. Let's go back. Defaults, I think we've done it, unless it didn't save, but no, it did save it. I'm going to select the VAT because I didn't do it last time. Let's go to categories. Here you can actually add your categories and the color. I'm going to leave it as it is, this one here. This comes with enabled uh, PayPal standards. All you need is to put your email, live mode or sandbox. You always put sandbox first. And of course, you know, once you are ready and everything works, you can actually get, believe it or not, live transaction. You can get paid through this system if you wanted to. So we go here, the cash account, uh, we go to sales and email for the PayPal. Then you can actually save it. We go back. We done this one, I think. Yep. And we go back to settings. Here you got the sending protocol, how you want to send it. And also you got the templates. The protocol is SMTP. Again, you can just leave it as PHP mail or send the mail, or you can actually have it SMTP with, you know, with your hosting provider. I like to leave it with PHP you know, PHP mail, it works okay. But sometimes, you know, some of the users get the emails into the spam folder. So you want to look, you know, into it. Settings again. We go back to the currencies. Let's see if there is anything here that I can actually do. Let's see dollars. Let's go to edit the dollars as you can actually edit rate one us dollars symbols amount let's put it as four precision there well i don't know what part you know i don't know precision where it is uh, but again you can go here and you go to the support and there is a good uh, community support where you can actually you, you can get the dedicated support but you get a lot of information in the support here from the uh, community and also you can actually open a ticket you but make sure you are registered you know of course otherwise you won't get through let me delete this one we don't need this one you know so we go back to settings we go the offline payments You can add new or you can have cash and bank transfer that the one comes already with it. Here you can actually choose if you want to show it to the customer. At the moment it's not. But it is an option. Let's go back again on the settings. So now we got the invoice. This is the prefix or mainly digit you want to use. The payment terms again you can choose here. The next number after the, in this case, will be 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, and then 2, 3, 4. Again, it's up to you how you want to use it. You can actually go 10 at a time. Well, it's up to you. Price name, I'll leave as price. Item is item, and quantity is quantity. Again, you can actually choose an invoice template if you want to. We got the modern, the classic, and the default. If you remember correctly, on the first step, it did ask for the logo. Again, you can actually add the logo, 
by going back to the settings and you go to the company. And here you can actually add your logo. All right, so you can browse the file and you can do it. Let's go back again to the settings. Now we go the reminders and the recurring cron. And here you can actually send invoices, reminders, send bill reminders. At the moment it's set as no, but you can actually set as yes. And this is the cron job that you need to add. Now if I go back to the panel and I go to cron, contract for users, I'm going to click on a new cron. This is the actual command. It's going to be open. You put any description and here you can choose how many times it can be done. But day is up to you. And here are the send before due days. Okay. So technically you can actually do this every hour if you wanted to. And all you got to do is save. And as you can see, that has been done. I'm going to delete this as this is only and exclusively a tutorial. But I also showed you how to do this. So once you're happy with this, I'm going to go to the settings and I'm going to the last tab. And that is the taxes, something that we already done a little bit, as you can see, VAT. Now, if you deal with multiple um, countries, for example, now we got the Brexit here, but uh, before we used to run a lot with the European companies. So you can actually have a multiple VAT from different companies and you can actually uh, charge the right amount. So here we go. We got the settings covered. We got the apps. And as I said earlier on, without API, you won't be able to access this. We got top paid, we got top free. You just need to press it and I'll come here. But Tomo, you can actually have your own um, analytics. You can have uh, sales metrics, receivable and payables. That's up to you if you want to install it or not. They're very simple. Just click on top and it will come up with the installation. As you can see here, just click install and just wait really. And that's how easy it is. Here you can uninstall it or you can actually disable if you wanted to. Okay, so we got the apps also covered. Let's go to the profile permissions. Let's go to the permission first. All the profile is it just change your name, the address and all this information for the admin. So as you can see here, we got the permissions and you can actually go and edit every single one of them. You can delete or edit. So we go back to the profile. And as you can see, you can change pictures, you can change your email, password. That's how it is. Here we got the roles and the users. This is the admin. And of course, you can add your customers as well. So they can actually log in, look at their invoices and you know whatever you can have also other managers let's go to the roles as you can see we got customers admin and manager and again you can actually add more if you want to presume so that's it really let's go back to the items so you can actually see here you can create your own products and of course, like any other booking, bookkeeping application, it's very simple and very intuitive. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, even though I think we went a little bit uh, over the top. A 25, maybe once I edit, I'll go a little bit late, uh, a little bit less than 20 minutes. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did making it. Don't forget to like and share. And I'll see you next tutorial.